I'm going to be making a jewelry box. It's my daughter's 13th birthday coming up. I wanted to make her something special. I don't have any plans written down or anything to look off of, but I do have some ideas in my head. So I ran to the store mirror that I'm going to be using for this and I picked up some 2x3 picture frames and a couple hooks. Um, let's see what I can come up with. I took the back of the mirror off. Uh, looks like they also held it together with some hot glue so that should make things interesting for me. Okay, got the mirror out. Now I'll just take some measurements off this and write those down. I decided to go with an inch and a half frame around the whole thing, around the mirror and around the picture frames. So what I'm going to do, I set the table saw at an inch and a half. I'm going to cut all of these oak boards down to width. I think that'll be enough for what I need. Okay, now I'm going to take those pieces, I'm going to take them over to the chop saw, get them down to the size that I need them to be. Okay, I've got those pieces cut down. This is going to be the frame for the mirror. Some picture frames in between here. So now I'm going to take it onto the router table. See what I can come up with here. Okay, I've got myself a rail and style cutter bit. It always helps to make yourself some blocks so that you could always get the same cut here. So this is my way of checking to make sure that I have this bit at the right height. Rail cut. Okay, now I've adjusted the bit for the style cut. I use this, make sure that I'm at the right height here. The style cut with this bit gets cut face down. So I've got to remember that when I'm cutting these, make sure that I have them in the right orientation. Here we go. Now we'll take a look and see how they fit together. Okay, I glued up those corners, clamped it together, I'm going to let that glue dry. Okay, while the glue is drying on the pieces that I made for the mirror, now I'm going to start working on the side for the picture frames. Here's the pieces all cut for the picture frame. I'm going to take these, glue them all together. So here's everything put together. I have the 
mirror frame that I made. And this is going to be the picture frame. It's got the glass in there. This will take three pictures, uh, about the two by three size pictures. Now I just need to make the box that all of this will mount onto. Made the sides for it and I ran a groove through it on the table saw. That'll be the back of the box. Now I'm going to take some foam that came as some packing material and I'm going to cut this into strips. I'll show you what I'm going to do with this. I cut that styrofoam into some strips here. I also made some strips out of some 3 16 inch Luan. Now I'm going to use some spray glue and I'll show you what the next step is. I stuck the Luan onto there. I sprayed the styrofoam. Stuck the Luan onto there. I'm going to let that tack up a little bit. Then I'm going to attempt to fold this over there. Give myself a nice squishy edge and then I'm going to see if I can wrap that in some, into some material. This is what I came up with. And I also took some material, spray glued it and stuck it onto the board that was in the back of the frame. Okay, so next what I'm going to attempt to do, I have a half inch bit here in the router table. So I'm going to take this scrap piece of wood and I'm going to try to put a half inch slot in here about every three quarters of an inch, five of them. So let's hope that this works. So now I'm going to rip this in half and get two of these out of this piece. This is what I did here. Got two of them. And this one you'll see, I didn't come all the way through with this bit, but there's a reason for that. All right. I'm going to take these little pieces that I made here, glue them up, and hit them with the nail gun. Okay, this is what I came up with. I'm going to take some little scrap pieces of some oak, make a trim to go around the face of this because you will see that once it's in the box. So, Alright, I glued those trim pieces on. I don't think I'm going to hit any nails into there. So I don't want the nails through the face of it. I glue those on, I'm going to let that dry. Once it dries, I'm going to take these pieces that I made, hopefully these will slide in from the back side, and then there'll be five in a row, and that'll be a spot where you could stick rings in between them. So we'll see how it turns out once the glue dries. While that glue is drying on the other piece, I mark this. I'm marking a line every three-eighths of an inch on here. And I'm just going to take the jigsaw and just start this line off, probably about the thickness of a blade. Okay, so here's what I came up with, with the notches in there, and I'm going to cut these down about maybe 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. Okay, I ripped those down into thinner strips. I need to come up with a better way to do that if I'm going to build another jewelry box, but as I did 
bust some teeth out and busted my thumb up, which it's now bleeding through the glove, but I got a couple good pieces out of it. I'm definitely going to figure out a different way to do that part though. Okay, now I'm just putting all those pieces on these little risers here, gluing them up, and I have some three quarter inch spacers in between them. So I'm going to let that dry. Now I'm going to come back to this piece. This piece is dry now. We're going to slide these in from the back and make a ring holder. And once I trim that all up and attach it, Here's where the rings will squeeze in between, and you can put your rings in there. Now I think it's time for me to start assembling this. Put my brand in there, because that might be hard to get in there later on. I'm just going to take these, I'm going to put some glue in the corners, nail them, get this piece in here, and see how this turns out. I glued and nailed the box together here, so now I have my frame with the carpeted back in there. I let it overhang, so I'm just going to trim that excess material off the back here. Just start try fitting the pieces and see how they look going in there, such as the ring holder. Okay, I put some glue on the sides of this. Now with those two pieces in there, here's going to be where the rings can be held in between these slots here. These little notches would be where you could hang your earrings. Hey, I cut a half inch dowel and I'll use this on the router table. I put a half inch hole through this piece of wood here. I just pre-drilled a hole through the back and countersunk it so I don't split anything. Okay, I centered that, put that in there, attached it through the back with some screws. I took the picture frame door that I made and I put some pictures in there. Now I'm going to mark the hinge locations on the side, pre-drill some holes, and put those hinges on. The back glued up, glued up good. Okay, all completed. I stained it. I bought some nice handles for it. Got those hinges in it. Here's what it looks like inside. Some hooks to hang some necklaces. That bar could hang some necklaces on there. I put a little lip across the front so anything that you have in there won't fall out. Here's the spot for the earrings. There's the spot for the rings.